Greetings from Everyday GMP, I am your presenter from Everyday GMP. Everyday GMP is a training and solutions provider, aimed to provide solutions to your problems and enrich the soft and technical skills of professional individuals and organizations to meet all criteria required in the life science industry, pharmaceutical, nutraceutical, cosmeceuticals, and related academia. Today we will discuss the container closure systems in the pharmaceutical industry before we start, please subscribe to get more informative videos. So, let's start. So we will discuss it today. Introduction. Reasons for requirement of packaging of drugs. Different types of packaging. Properties of containers. Types of containers. Materials used in the manufacture of containers. Closures. Types of closures. In the last we'll conclude. So what is a container closure system? A container. A container closure system in the pharmaceutical industry refers to the combination of a container and closure that safeguards the drug product from contamination, moisture, and light while maintaining its integrity throughout its shelf life. The system plays a crucial role in ensuring the quality, safety, and efficacy of pharmaceutical products. Container closure systems can come in various forms, such as glass or plastic bottles, vials, ampules, blister packs, and syringes. Well so, container closure systems refer to the sum of packaging components that together contain and protect the dosage form. This includes primary packaging components and secondary packaging components if the latter is intended to provide additional protection to the drug product. The safety and efficacy of any pharmaceutical product is inextricably linked to its packaging. Containers or container closures that do not meet the physical, chemical, or biological specifications of the major compendia will compromise the quality of the drug product itself. The outlook for container closure systems in the pharmaceutical industry is focused on improving the safety, efficacy, and convenience of drug delivery to patients. Before we go in details we should know what are reasons for requirement of packaging of drugs. It is used as economical means of providing the presentation of the drug. Packaging is useful in protecting the drug from degradation by temperature, light, and moisture. It identifies the drug product present under different brand names and labels. Packaging provides convenience for both the patient and the pharmacist. Packaging is the means of compliance for the patient acceptability and agreement. Secondary packaging is necessary to endure safe warehousing and refill packaging. It is used to restrict any chemical, climatic, biological, or mechanical hazard that may cause product deterioration. Different types of packaging. There are three types of packaging material. Primary packaging. This is the first packaging envelope that is in direct contact with the dosage form. The packaging should have no interaction with the drug product. Examples include blister packaging, strip packaging, etc. Secondary packaging. This packaging stores pharmaceutical packages in it for the grouping. The packaging that is outside the primary packaging is also known as secondary packaging. Examples include paper boards, cartons, etc. Tertiary packaging. This packaging provides safety in the bulk handling and shipping of pharmaceutical products from one place to another. Examples include containers, barrels, etc. Properties of containers. The container should protect the drug products from environmental hazards like light, temperature, moisture, particles, and microorganisms. This container should protect from mechanical hazards like vibration, compression, shock, and puncture. The container must be convenient and easy to use. A container must be cheap and economical. The container must be non-reactive with the drug content. A container must be biodegradable. The container must have a pharmaceutically elegant appearance. Types of containers. Containers are included in tertiary packaging and are further divided into many types. There are four types of containers well closed, airtight, secondary tight, and hermetically sealed containers. Well closed container airtight containers secure containers. Hermetically sealed container. Hermetically sealed containers. Well closed container airtight containers secure containers. Hermetically sealed container. Materials used in the manufacture of containers. There are different materials used in the manufacture of containers. That are glass, plastic, metal, closures. These substances cover the drug container after the filling process in order to properly contain and protect the product. Features of closures. They are part of containers and allow easy and safe administration of the drug. Closures are the ones that provide the complete seal. They are available in a variety of shapes and sizes. Functions of closures. 
These closures function in giving a positive seal. They are also used in impacting resistance. They also provide product closure compatibility. It is also used to control the substance present in the container. Types of closures. Rubber closures, caps or over seals, special type closures, child resistant and tamper evident closures. In the last we conclude that the future outlook for container closure systems in the pharmaceutical industry is focused on improving the safety, efficacy and convenience of drug delivery to patients. The full training course is available on demand for on-site, online and hybrid forms. We offer a variety of training packages in a range of subject areas and can offer blended learning opportunities to best meet your needs. If you would like a consultation to see how we can assist you with issues in your organization, please contact us. Our expertise and specializations are as follows, individual and corporate technical and soft skills training. Organizations technical gap analysis and process optimization. Industry and academia gap analysis. Provide solutions for troubleshooting, sterile and non-sterile manufacturing. Technical documentation services. SOP, QRM, CAPA, change management, etc. Pharmaceutical manufacturing and water purification solution. Facility technical areas layout. Please subscribe to the channel to get more videos. Contact plus 923112538445 email. Info at everydaygmp.com website www.everydaygmp.com